Welcome to my channel guys and today I'm going to be doing a video on what's in my new tackle box. I did a video last year about what's in my tackle box. I did two tackle boxes I believe. So now I'm going to do this tackle box. Alright so we're going to start off on this little slider here. This little pouch. On this little pouch. Not that one. Yeah that one right there. Alright so. First thing I got is a bait wrapper from one of my top water lures. Some mummy worms I got. And then two more things. A weird bobber that like doesn't even weigh an like an ounce. And then a big weight. And this thing probably a pound. It actually has a lot of weight. Alright, so let's put that stuff back. Alright, so let's put anything back. Alright, let's go on to the other side. I think I have some things over here. Oh yeah, I got these dividers for my boxes for my tech box. I don't know why they call it tackle box when it, there's boxes inside of it. Even without the boxes in it. Alright, so the front right here, I got some re reaction tackle high performance fishing gear. Um, 15 pound braid, 500 yards of that. I got a thing of weights. Everybody's got weights. Some Ger Gerber multi tool. And then baits I'm gonna try to sell because I don't use tubes. But I heard you catch smallmouth and stuff on them, so I might keep them for smallmouth fishing. Because I know it's late for smallmouth. I know like for every species of fish. Like, I know lakes for trout. Right, wait, do I have something in here? In this one? Oh, I just have in my way front one. It looks like I got some glass and a couple weights. So, we'll start off in my bag of my thing of plastics I have. Start it off, I have some um, frogs. I've got like a couple crappies on them. You know, like a ten and a half inch crappie. Um, four and a half inch swim baits by Power Bait. Berkeley Power Bait. Um, bag of gulp, which is, has a two old, be a new beetle spin and an old beetle spin in it. Got a bag of some yum dingers. And I got another bag of yum dingers. They're both the same size. I think they're four inch. Yeah, four inch. This one's tin foil. Uh, I don't really care what, what size they are. All right, so I'm done with that one. And then it looks like my Rapala box and they just baits with treble hooks on them. So, we got a crankbait. I think it's like a square bell or something. I don't really, really know. Um, don't know what this bait is called. I got it for Christmas with no thing for what it's called. Uh, we got a walleye rattle trap. It's not a rattle trap brand, but it's basically the same thing as a rattle trap. And we got a rattling fat trap. It's a little deep diver. I throw that on bait caster once in a while. And go for some pike. Pike and bass are basically things I fish for and walleyes. And I got a big old deep diver. And I'm gonna hold down all the hooks and stuff and listen to that. That's just a noisy bait. It'd be perfect for some maybe some smaller muskies and we got a floating repla a 
popper or frog pop. Little square bell or something. I can't remember what it's called. And then the original rattle trap. That's what I got for Christmas. It's actually my first rattle trap brand bait. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I've used it a couple times. Nice bait for walleye. And it's a walleye series too. It looks like a perch. And then this looks like my jig and swim bait box. I got a frog with a jig on it. Just like a plastic frog. Um, and then I got a yellow jig head with a black Mr. Twister. Next I have like a squid looking bait on a floating walleye jig. Next I have a, another yellow jig, jig head on a lime green looking Mr. Twister. And I got a, just a plain looking jig head. Probably paint that up or something like that. I got a couple spinner bed attachments. I got more than just that. I got, I'll show you guys. Got some hooks right there. Some more jigs. Um, got a, some fuzzy jig and I got a screw tail. Yeah, Mr. Twister. Like that. I got some fake bait and cut up Sanko and got some more Mr. Twisters. And I got my swim bait. So so I said you get it down. Right there. Alright, so I got some swim bait. This is one I made out of Sanko. Pretty neat. I like it. Haven't caught the fish on it. I've never used it, but once this is a nice swim bait, brand new. And I found this plastic plastic in my old tackle boxes. In one of my old tackle box, and I just threw a jig head on it. And then we got a little baby swim bait, just a little tiny guy. Cut. I was bobber fishing last year with it because you bobber fish with a swim bait, of course. Not. I was fishing with it and I caught a couple bullheads and I think a sunfish. And I, well, I'm last year I was like kind of bad at fishing but this year I'm like super good at right. brand new jig heads 132nd out close so I set you guys up like that so I can grab a new bait box and alright I got another box alright so Ooh, this looks like my spoon box. I made this one right here. Well, I just put the treble hook on it. It's a nice spoon. My grandma gave it to me without a treble hook on it, so I just threw a treble hook. And then if you're a fisherman and you catch a lot of pike, well, if you're a pike fisherman, you have to have a original red eye. I love it. Never caught a fish on it, but still love it. Then next, I got some baby spinner baits. Some little spinners. I just put that in this box. I don't know why. A little spoon. This is actually pretty heavy for a little baby spoon. Switch that out. I got a lot of tackle. This ain't like. And then this is my bait caster box I built up. I got a whopper popper. Everybody's got a whopper popper. That's for like big bass and pike and muskie, probably. Maybe. Rattle trap. Uh, I mean, a rapala. Uh, just a weird looking bait I rigged up. A nice jig with a. On, actually, on this bait, I was using. Well, I was using a 
brown weedless jig in brown and green water. Like you can't see in an inch of water. You can't see bottom. And I was using a brown jig and this on the back, this plastic, and I cut a pike. I don't know how that's possible. I don't even think the fish even seen it. Well, fish probably have a lot, really good seeing underwater. So, and then I get this, this little craw jig with a twister on it and a spinner blade. This bait would be not, it's perfect because I just like threw stuff on it for a weight so I could throw it on the bait caster. But it, blades are good for muddy water. And that's what I'm going to be fishing a lot is muddy water. Muddy water and clean water is what I fish. I, fit, I fish a lake up north at my grandma and grandpa's house. And it's, you can see bottom in 16, 17 feet of water. Well, like 14 feet of water. It's super nice. It's muddy, sandy, and weedy. Really weedy. In the sand points, right after. Right before the drop off, well, it goes from sand to weeds to big drop off. The deepest pot, spot in the lake is like 60 feet and it's like super small. I could swim across the lake without a life jacket and I'm not that good of a swimmer. So, and then I'm not too good with um, big fuzzy jigs like this I don't ever throw it really then we got another top water lure it's a m moto minnow it's got some treble hooks on it nice and sharp and nice with some nice bass and then we got swim bait little baby swim bait I like swim baits as you can so I got, oh my TV shut off, whatever, but I throw bait casters, I use basically every rod, well except like fly rods and stuff and cane poles. Speaking of cane poles, I gotta show you my redneck invention. Some redneck. I like to practice my flipping, like pitching and stuff, with fishing rods. And I had a cane pole and an old fishing reel in my room. Look at that. Cane pole taped to a... I got a fishing reel. Duct tape. Uh, not duct tape. Just some scotch school tape I had laying around. And a cane pole. And then I tied up... I made a little Nerf dart. Alright, I'll show you guys. A little Nerf dart. I took a Nerf dart, wrapped it with um, tape, and I put a weight. I got a, I'll take it out. A weight. So I don't break anything. I got two little baby weights in it. And you just put them in there. Put the, that big, the big weight on. Is it all, it all reeled up, get up to the top like this, and give it a push in. Last year I was practicing casting with a, one of my bait casters, and I had a big, that big weedless jig I told you guys about. And I yanked it backwards because I think it was like cut in like one of my blankets or like on my couch or something in my room. And it hit me in the knee and I dented the weight on the jig. And I just don't, I lost the jig. I was, I can't remember what I was doing with the jig. I think I was trying to, I was like casting, 
out like practicing casting my bait caster and I got it stuck in a tree. Doesn't it sound like crankbait? Or like a rattle trap or something? I'm getting really good at pitching and stuff. But I think I'm going to end that video there before my camera shuts off on me. Bye.